When Sockin' Man begins spending the next 50 years in prison for raping a 16-year-old girl. The 2007 case became solved when DNA evidence linked him to the attack. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now from the Providence Mobile Newsroom with the latest developments. The judge sentenced him to 60 years, 50 to serve, but the defendant still maintains his innocence. Jason Nickerson, father of three and convicted rapist, will spend the next five decades locked up. It is a story that is more tragic at every turn. If only it were fiction. The judge sentenced him after a 10-day trial where Nickerson was found guilty of rape. At his sentencing, we heard the victim's lawyer read her statement. I felt disgusted living in my own skin for so long because it was just impossible to come to terms with what had happened to me and understand fully that it was not my fault. Authorities say in 2007, Nickerson picked up the then 16-year-old girl, drove her to a parking lot, and sexually assaulted her and beat her for more than three hours. You left light and beat on a dark street far from home. The case went unsolved for years. The arrest was made possible after Nickerson pleaded no contest to second-degree robbery in 2010. His DNA was taken and then matched to the 2007 sexual assault in Providence. The DNA match convinced the jury of his guilt, but Nickerson claims he was home with his family. I repeat, I, Jason Nickerson, was not a problem in the attack of July 1st, 2007. He was also sentenced to 20 years for choking the victim. That sentence will be served at the same time as his 50-year sentence. And the defense did not speak to us today, but the judge said at the end of the sentencing that she expects the defense to appeal the decision. Reporting with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.